Hey guys, it's Jerry. Uh, welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Uh, tonight, or today, I'm going to do another malware matchup. Uh, this is probably the last malware matchup I'm, I'm going to do with this infected PC, uh, only because the the malware that's on here is probably getting a little outdated. So the next malware matchup that I'll do, I'll uh, I'll infect another PC with more recent um, malware. And uh, I did get a request to uh, infect it even more, so that's what I'll do. I was uh, planning on infecting this machine quite a bit more, but after I got that security tool and it kind of blocks anything from running, uh, that's when I decided to stop. Uh, now, this malware matchup is going to be Stopzilla. Now, um, I don't know how I did it, but I was, it, yeah, it's not going to let me run it. But anyway, um, I'm going to go into safe mode, and I'm going to try to run Stopzilla and see how it does against malware. So stand by, and uh, we'll uh, get them in the ring, and um, they're going to duke it out. So let's see who wins, Stopzilla or malware. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, booted into safe mode, as you can see here. Uh, I have Stopzilla that uh, I was able to download. So we'll uh, try to get it installed and see how it does against this malware. So I'll stand by. I'll wait for this to load up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I spent a few minutes trying to get Stopzilla to start in safe mode. Uh, it downloads the latest version, but then when you um, try to set it up, it just doesn't. It just uh, kind of dies there and it never actually installs. I tried to double click it, tried to right click and run as administrator. As you can see, I even tried to change the name of the file um, so basically that's all it does is it downloads and then just kind of stops. So uh, on this particular machine, virtual machine, Stopzilla will not start. It will not load. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, malware uh, won uh, with Stopzilla. So what I did was I um, had Hitman Pro on here already. It updated to version 111, and uh, that was able to run. And as you can see, it found quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we don't care about tracking cookies, but it uh, found all kinds of malware. It found Trojans. Um, so let's see. This actually might be expired. There it is. Um, hmm. Okay. One second, guys. Okay, guys. Finally back. Um, so I had to activate Hitman Pro. And as you can see, um, I went in. And... Uh, all these uh, tracking cookies and pieces of malware and Trojans, and uh, even repairs the um, task manager and fixes the internet, all was done. Uh, and now it's telling me to reboot. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to let it reboot, and I'll be right back and see where we are. Okay. Uh, I'm back, guys. Um, as you can see here, I'm rebooting up the machine, and it was doing something in the background before it even uh, boots up. So it looks like it was deleting pieces of malware that um, might have been still running when I had safe mode on and couldn't delete it. So before it boots up, Hitman Pro deleted that piece of malware. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Now, I do still see, however, that the, um, the icons are still on the desktop, so um, 
All right, let me get set up here. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I have the desktop up. And uh, let me see here if I can run Hitman Pro once again. Um, let me see if it finds anything else. And then what I'll try to do is run Stopzilla again and see if, if it will now um, run and if it will find anything else. So let's see if it opens up. It does open up. It's a good sign. It's now running. So I must have got rid of that security tool that uh, blocks anything from, from opening and starting. Um, so that's good. You know, at least we can get stuff to work now. Uh, so I'll let this scan real quick and see what it finds. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Ran another scan with Hitman Pro, and even found a, uh, a crack that I intentionally installed. So uh, that's good. Just a couple of tracking cookies. And now I, I was able to finally get Stopzilla to install on this computer. So now with the help of Hitman Pro, because it got rid of uh, security tool or whatever was stopping everything from running, um, now, it, now it's being installed. So that's good. Well, if their program is as good as their little splash screen, then I should do pretty good. So I'll wait for this to install. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, finally uh, installed and updated. Took a, a good 10 or so minutes just to uh, complete this step. Um, but maybe because it's a virtual machine, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it's complete. It's asking me to reboot, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, come back when it's rebooted, and we'll see how it does. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, Stopzilla is loading. Just restarted the computer. And we'll see how long this takes and uh, what happens. Now, I'm still getting pop-ups down here that there's some harmful um, programs installed on the computer. And as you can see, there's all kinds of icons still on the desktop. So, we are still infected, definitely. And I'm surprised that Hitman Pro didn't get rid of everything. But, uh, well, uh, that's, I guess that's good in a way. We can, get, we can put Stopzilla to the test and see what happens. So, uh, one second. Just going to wait for this. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, did a scan with Stopzilla after I installed it. Now, a couple of interesting points I want to make here. Stopzilla, uh, after the scan, found 107 infections. Now, it calls them infections, and if you look at um, all of the entries here, there's catch me, registry keys, there's Trojans and hack tools and uh, just a bunch of stuff that uh, that lists a, a Bundu Trojan. Um, this is a, again, this is a, a rogue, which is uh, just a bunch of uh, registry keys. All right, and then you go <clears throat> down more, and there's this mirror toolbar, and there's another toolbar here. This uh, this toolbar here that's listed, uh, and then finally it gets into cookies, which <clears throat> found quite a quite a few cookies, so that number obviously is a little skewed, which brings me to my point. 
uh, from what I gather about Stopzilla, first of all, when you hit remove, um, what it does is nothing because it wants you to buy it before it uh, does any sort of removal. Now, this is similar to Hitman Pro, but at least Hitman Pro will give you a, um, a trial, 30-day trial. Now, well, okay, it's removing. All right, we'll see what happens. But again, from what I've from what I've read, you're supposed to buy it before it does any kind of removal. So we'll see what happens. The other thing I I, I did, which was interesting, is I did a malware bytes uh, scan because if you remember from our other malware matchup, malware bytes pretty much detected and removed just about everything, and it found 16 items. Now. Malwarebytes, which is a trusted, free, um, on-demand scanner, found 16 items. Stopzilla, um, again, not including cookies, found probably about uh, 60 items. So there's a huge contrast there between what Malwarebytes finds and what uh, Stopzilla found. Now, another interesting thing here is this catch me Trojan that I found. It found a registry key, which uh, what I did was followed it in my registry editor. Now, <clears throat> when I did the uh, the path that it gave me under enum root is supposed to be a legacy catch me but if I look at the list there is no legacy catch me listed here so um, I thought that was kind of interesting anyway um, I'm gonna pause for just a second okay guys I'm back I uh, just wanted to show you that I'm restarting the computer as Stopzilla instructed me to do. And uh, with those hundred and something infections that it found, I'm sure that once I boot up, uh, everything is going to be, or not everything, but it's going to be um, cleaner. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to wait for this to boot up, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, it just restarted. And uh, as you can see, it says here that Stopzilla will detect, block, and quarantine spyware, alert you of infections, kill pop-ups, and adware in real time, and have a trial period, which is 15 days. Now, I just uh, restarted, <clears throat> as it instructed me to. As you can see, all the, uh, all the Trojan icons and, and uh, porn uh, icons are still on the computer uh, so it really didn't do much of anything uh, with those 107 infections that it found what I'm going to do is just run another quick scan with malware bytes and see if it comes up with that same list of malware I'll be right back hey guys I'm back I uh, just did the scan with malware bytes and it found about 12 uh, things pieces of malware that is still on the computer, even though Stubzilla uh, removed 107 infections. So uh, that tells me, number one, Stubzilla failed this malware matchup because it wasn't able to load in um, safe mode, uh, it wasn't able to install and run. Number two, it's my opinion that Stubzilla listed fake malware uh, detections just so they kind of entice you to buy the software. Um, so that's my thoughts. So I wouldn't recommend Stopzilla. Um, so that's it. As you can see, uh, stuff is still on here. So as far as I'm concerned, it was a fail. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. It's a wrap. Um, have yourselves a great night.